Hello and welcome back Supermums. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the month ahead and why it's important owning your work-life decisions, particularly when you're a mum. So, this month's theme is work life. Now, when the team and I were brainstorming and coming up with the content that we wanted to include for this very important topic, because let's face it, your work life takes up a lot of your life, it became clear that what we really needed was some real stories from some real mums to give some of the examples of how your work life can look. Now, this may mean that you're already back into some sort of work life situation, maybe you're reconsidering your options, maybe you're on maternity leave from your first child or your second child or your third child, and every time things change and things are different and you, you kind of you might have to roll with the punches and start making some different options. Uh, maybe your, your partner's been made redundant or maybe your partner's had a pay rise and suddenly you've got different, different options. So we felt like the best way forward with this month was to look at four different mums in four different situations. We're gonna be looking at a stay-at-home mum because let's face it, that is a full, full-time job, a very important role in society. And I am a big believer in gov our government and hopefully other governments supporting one of the parents, doesn't need to be the mum, but one of the parents being able to stay at home if they can and that they're in society should be a bit more support and encouragement for this. We're gonna be looking at someone that returned to full-time hours, someone that renegotiated their hours, and then someone that started a business. And what led them to make these decisions, how it's worked out for them, what they've liked about it, any warnings, any tips. I felt like being really real with this topic was incredibly important. Not that I'm fake with any of the topics, I'm a pretty open book. Um, if any of you have actually seen me speak in public, I'm kind of a, a no holes barred kind of person. I'll tell you my labor story if you really wanna know kind of person. So it was just, there was something in me that really wanted to get nitty gritty with this topic. It, it does, it takes up such a huge amount of your life. And I always find it really funny that when we were kids, it wasn't oh, what do you want to be 40 hours a week, it was well, what do you want to be? It's like I want to be a firefighter, or I want to be a vet, or I want to be a Barbie princess, or I want to be a superhero. Like we didn't say, well, Monday to Friday, 8 30 to 5 30, I want to be a Barbie princess superhero. It was it was part of our lives and I'm a big believer in whatever you do, if you can really make it a part of your identity and do something that's true to you. It doesn't feel like work. There's a phrase that says, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And that's very much how I feel about Supermum Society. I'm also a big believer in begin with the end in mind. So for me, looking forward post baby to how I wanted, not my life, but my daughter's life and my family life as a whole to look was really essential in defining what I wanted to do next. Now, I had been self-employed before. I was hit like many people around the 2008 mark and was made redundant and thrown into a self-employed life. I worked part-time someone else and self-employed sort of the other part-time. Um, as most people know, when you're self-employed, there is no such thing as part-time. And actually it was the best thing for me because I don't think I would have taken the leap. The leap from safe employment to part-time, uh, to self-employed is, is pretty scary. But for me, it really paid off. It really kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone into what turned out to be a much more comfortable zone. But that's what worked for me. And that doesn't work for everyone. And it was over a few careers, I'll be honest, it was over a few different careers that I realized you've got to begin with the end in mind. Pre-baby, it was a belief that I couldn't have a baby. So I had created this life around me and my partner and how our life was, but it didn't really fit a child into it because I never expected that to happen. So I really had to reassess post. It wasn't, how I was doing things before was not going to work after and still give me the family life I wanted. And I reassessed and I thought, well, I'll do some of my old work still, but in a different format while building up 
the, the career, the business, the long-term lifestyle that I wanted. And through becoming a mum, I discovered something that I felt like needed to be filled. They say entrepreneurs are usually solving a problem. And for me, Supermum Society was solving a problem. That's what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to help and solve this problem. And I wanted it to solve my problem of creating the lifestyle that I wanted around my work. I love working. I used to think I could not work if I if that was financially possible, but actually know thyself and know thyself needs to be working, need to be doing, I need to be creating and adding value to the world. So that's that's my truth. That's what's important to me. And I feel like it becomes such a central part of you and whether you're owning being a stay-at-home mum or whether you're owning working part-time and being with your kids or working full-time, whatever you're doing, you need to own it and it needs to be a true part of you. Now, I will put my hands up and say we don't live in an ideal society where everyone is in a financial position to just drop whatever they're doing now and move forward with whatever they want to do. There are a lot of balls in the air being juggled that you've got to consider and things that will affect you is whether you're a single parent or whether you're what your partner's doing and how that fits in. So if you've got a partner in the picture, he or she needs to be involved in these discussions. They, you need to be looking forward to the future and it might be a case of it's a five, six, seven, eight, ten year plan to get to where you want to be. But if you know you're working towards it, it makes the now feel so much better and so much more manageable. You're still heading towards your passion. Now, for me, I'm not ex I'm not where my end lifestyle wants to be because I, I want Supermum Society to do amazing. So I'm working a lot of extra hours that in the eventually I won't need to work because I'm working towards my end goal. I've begun with my end goal in mind, I've created this end goal and I'm working towards it in the stages. And whatever that looks like for you, that doesn't need to be your own business, that could be a certain full-time career working for someone else. But it's working towards those stages and even if you're not quite in it now, knowing that you are working towards it will really, really help. I am so passionate about life in general and us living the lives that we want and deserve, which is why I get quite passionate about this topic because it takes up so many hours of our lives. So many hours of our lives. So very, very important. So I really hope that you find this month's content helpful. We've got some amazing women coming on in these videos. And I'm also doing a book review of a fantastic book that I recently read. And if you're looking to start any kind of online business, so we're talking sort of blog, vlog type mum-based business, or even if you want to build up a, a brand around a mum-based business, I think this is an absolute must read. If you're just interested in, a, in another mum's story of starting her business, it's actually just quite a nice read because it's based around a, another mum's experience and journey. So I will, I won't talk any more about that because otherwise I might as well just give you the book review now. But so we've got that coming out and we, yeah, we've got these four videos with four different mums as well. Please pop some comments down below if there's any more questions you would like me to answer on discovering your, your journey and your path to it. Or if there's any more content this month that would be really helpful to you. I've got a few more weeks this is going out right at the beginning and I can always try and get some extra content filmed for you if that would be helpful or connect you guys with some other resources that would be helpful. So pop comments down below if there's anything else that you need from me with regards to learning more about what to do with your work life. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Cheers guys. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.